I got another amazing story. And, and every time I, I try to tell this, it just amazes me still. This is the story of the unknown flower and uh, what Flickr did. So in 2007, I got uh, lucky enough to be invited to do a speaking tour in Australia. I actually spoke in every capital city in a two-week span, and that's a whole series of other stories that I don't have time to go into. And the first one was in uh, Tasmania, and I had a, prepared a few presentations. And uh, one of them, I, I talked about a thing I've, I've done several times, just kind of um, this trying to get this concept of the how kind of big the internet is, which sounds like a, a, an obvious thing, but I think we forget how big and vast it is. And when people talk about knowing it, um, I think they're full of it. Anyhow, as a piece of this, I kind of talk about some of these kind of funny things that happen because you share things online. And, and a lot of them always seem to happen uh, through Flickr because of uh, how much it enables people to share interesting uh, pictures and people really resonate with pictures. So I, I wanted to give a sense about, you know, kind of how things can happen uh, on the Internet because you share something. And I, I tell the story... Um, that I found, um, I like to take um, uh, photos of flowers. And actually, if I uh, move myself on my wall, there are a bunch of um, uh, macro shots of some uh, desert flowers that I had taken when I lived in Phoenix. And I have a lot of them online. So I, I'm always intrigued by taking pictures of flowers and one of my little side hobbies. And I post them on Flickr. What I found was by sheer accident. Um, because I really don't know anything about, you know, the names of the kind of flowers, or when I do know, I forget. Um, so when I'm writing my captions, I often don't know what kind of flower it is. Um, so I found that in Flickr, if you put unidentified flower as the title or in the caption or even as a tag, um, that people uh, search on that and they look for it and they try to help you. So what they do is they post a comment and they say, you know, I think that's, you know, Gastrophilius harmonious or that's a boo-boo flower. See, I don't know anything about flowers. And this has happened a couple times. So I had about you know, 10 of these. And in, in my presentation, I have, you know, I talk about just the way I'm you know, describing what I do. I take pictures of flowers. I say they're unidentified, unknown, etc. And I have a link uh, that I use in Flickr that um, pulls up, you know, by search query these uh, 10 images or so. So I'm doing this talk in um, Hobart, Tasmania, to a group of about, I don't know, 50, 60 uh, educators there. And I'm trying to get them excited about, you know, the vastness of the Internet, all blah, 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 blah. And I'm telling my flower story. And, um, you know, I've got these 10, and I just say, let's just pick one. And, you know, I could I could have gone with the purple one or the blue one. I picked the second one, and it was this orange flower. So I click, and I go... Um, to that flower picture and I say look I took this picture of an orange flower and I said unidentified etc and then if you, when I scroll down to the comments there's this comment um, from a woman whose name was Kirsta and she says um, in her comment she says I think it's Ramanuculus I think that's what she said and um, and I thought you know that's it that's you know I made my point here um, and then this hand goes up in, in the kind of three quarters away in the back of the room and this woman stands up and she says that was me Okay, my heart, and hopefully yours, and yours might have done the same thing. My heart literally stopped there. So let, let me backtrack again. So I take a picture in Strawberry, Arizona, where I am right now, post it on Flickr, say unknown flower. I am all the way over, opposite side of the globe, in Hobart, Tasmania, and I meet the person who I didn't know who commented on my photo in the workshop. I got the picture, everything. I got proof. And that, I keep saying every time I record this, this is the most amazing story. That that's the king for me. That is the most effing, 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 effing amazing story of serendipity and things that happen when uh, people connect over open information on the web. Try it. Can't guarantee it'll happen, but you never know.